Hello everyone, my name is Jorge Pedret and I'm here to show you the five elements of music or the hand method. And this is a method that was taught to me by teacher Bernardo in Mexico. And this method, it can help you understand all the music around the world. And this is how it goes. You grab a paper and a pen, you have it at hand, and you're gonna put your hand right on the paper just like this. And then you're gonna take your, your pen and you're gonna trace, trace around it. Each finger. Then you're gonna end up with a hand just like that. And then you're gonna ask the people that you're sharing this with, what are the elements of music? And then you're gonna start hearing answers from them. And this is how my teacher taught it to me. I had to guess all of this. But for this video, I'm just gonna tell you what they are. And you can use these elements to really get a sense of more than just the music as we know as music, but you can get a sense of the music of the space, the music of the universe, the music that is playing right now in the world by the birds, by the cars, by the sounds that are all around you. And so, we're gonna, I'm gonna start with the first element, this one here in the index, and that one over there, I call this the melody. So you write down here, melody. The melody is a one by one note. So this is like the individual, one note by one note. This is the, the storytelling, the the leader, the, the kind of like the main role uh, uh, that is telling the story of the song. And this is one note at a time. This is the distinction here, one by one. Once you go, into playing more than one by one notes, you go into the next the next finger, which is harmony. And this is a, a quick introduction. There is so much more to be said about each one of these. And I'm here, I'm just gonna lay down the map for you that you can go deeper into it. And you can also um, book a session with me and connect and go into this together. And the second element is harmony and it's when you play three or more uh, uh, notes at the same time. When you play three notes at the same time, these notes, they sound together, they have a quality of sound, they create a, uh, different qualities of sound, like perhaps they sound uh, sad or they sound uh, exalted or they sound energetic or they sound sunny or they sound um, uh, like opaque. There is different, all these different, there is tension and there is, uh, with these combinations of different notes, you get all these different feelings uh, from the playing. And the harmony is uh, is in a way kind of backing up the melody. It's like the, the, the guitar that's like strumming in the back and the melody is the, the soloer, the person that's soloer. So in melody you get scales, also in harmony you get chords what we call chords and the harmony theory. The third element over here, guess what? It is rhythm. And rhythm has a funny way of spelling. It only has one vowel sound, which is a Y, rhythm. And this rhythm is like the drum beat, is the, the structure, is the the structure of the song. The this can be four by four or three by three, like in a waltz. And the one by one is like one by one, note by note, like a heartbeat. There is no structure, there is just the, the tempo, the, the rhythm. So this one can be one by one, two by two, three by three, four by four, eight by eight. I think there is some flamenco rhythms that are like 12 by 12, which are more complex. And the last element over here out of the four, which was is most difficult to get for a lot of people, this is silence. And silence is, uh, I wonder why silence? But if you see it, silence is at the beginning, before the song starts, and at the end, when the song ends. When the song, the music is finished, uh, there is silence. In between notes, 
and in between uh, the notes that are being played, there is silence. In between beats, there is silence. In between the words that I'm saying right now, there is a small space of silence. And this space of silence, it, it, it's what, it's part of what powers all, all of the music. So it's in the beginning, it's in the end, and it's in all the in-between steps, all silence. And we go to the last element over here, is the tom, this one here. And this is the element that powers the music, is the, the feeling, is the, the will that plays the music, the feeling that, that pushes through. And my teacher, he taught me this is love. This is the element of love. And he told me that's the most important element, They're actually not the most important. But when a music is done, when we know love, when we know love, it can drive us to destruction and to like really like destroying the being. He said, he emphasized this, oh Jorge, make your music with love. Make your music with love. Make your music with love. Love, it makes the music so he, this is the last element of uh, the five elements of music you can use these five elements to detect the quality of the space where you are and you can see if a place feels melodic if a place is harmonic if a place has a rhythm if a place has certain qualities of silence or not silence or arrhythmia or disharmony or this name that I that I came up with is this melody or this love and you can use all of this and in the middle here you can write five elements of music so this is the map of the five elements of music I hope you enjoy this and if you want to go deeper into this and know more just let me know or ask yourself start investigating this inside of you and see how it feels when you play it when you are sensing into these rhythms and thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next time